Okay, so here we have a, a computer hard drive uh, which has a transparent cover so that you can see the internal workings. Um, there's a voice coil actuator here which is going to move the servo arm um, uh, across the uh, magnetic surface here where the, the, the data is. Now what we'll see is um, some examples of tracking on the servo arm. Um, so there are computer tracks, if I imagine my fingers here being four tracks. When it does a one track seek, it will be moving to this track, then this one, then this one, then this one. Then it will switch to two track seeks where it will jump two tracks at a time. Uh, and then four and eight tracks and so on. Now it happens so quickly that it looks almost like smooth continuous motion, but it's not. It's really moving to one particular track, locking on it within 10% tracking error so it could read write data, and then moving on to the next one. And I'll spin it up now and we'll see the demo. Okay, so the disk starts up with a certain initialization procedure, and then it will go into this test demo. Um, this is not what your normal computer hard drive would do when it was running, but it's going to demonstrate um, seeking different tracks. And I want to emphasize that uh, it, it accurately locks onto a track each time. So now the disk has spun up, and now you can see it's doing one track seeks. So it's moving onto one track at a time, locking on and moving on to the next one. So you can see as it, as it does this motion, it looks kind of continuous, but it's not. It's actually moving from one specific track to another, jumping, um, I think we're up to 32 or 64 tracks at a time um, on each sweep. Now it's actually moving uh, almost half its full distance per given seek, so it's moving to three specific locations, locking on and then moving back. As you can see, it kind of happens too fast for you to really see. You just sort of see a ghost image of, of three servo arms, but it's really uh, rapidly locking on track. Now it's doing its maximum length seek, um, locking onto one track and, and uh, switching to another track that's as far away as possible. Um, and it's doing it, you know, at, this is the speed it would typically operate at. After this it will switch to random seeks and the motion looks kind of random but it's not, it's really picking out a random track, moving to it precisely, locking on and then moving on to the next one. So after this you'll see it, uh, here it is, doing random seeks as it would if it was trying to pick up uh, data from random positions.